When people hear the word Twilight, they immediately think of the series of books by Stephanie Meyer and the movie starring Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson, and Taylor Lautner. While I am a fan of that particular Twilight series, I'm talking about a different set of books this time. It's called Twilight Where Darkness Begins, which was a horror series composed of 26 books written by different authors. It was published by Dell Publishing from 1982 to 1987 and is out of print today. The only copies I could find are all on eBay and they're pretty expensive with some books even starting at $100. We had a few of the Twilight books while I was growing up, namely The Initiation by Robert Brunn, Fatal Attraction by Imogen Howe, A Deadly Rhyme by Gloria Gonzalez, and Scavenger's Hunt by Arthur Bicknell. I really enjoyed The Initiation. It was a story of a teenage boy who was attending a private school and found out that it was full of vampires. But what I really liked about it was how oppressive it felt and its heart-wrenching ending. Fatal Attraction has to be my favorite among those four books. It's the story of a group of young people faced with an ancient entity who kept finding ways to escape death. Now I know that description isn't doing the book any justice, but I promise you that it's a chilling tale and features scenes that will haunt you even days after you've read the book. Here are a few fairly recent reviews of Twilight Where Darkness Begins. This one was posted on Library Thing in June 2023 about Deadly Sleep. I really enjoyed this book. It starts off pretty much like every YA horror book but then becomes surprisingly smart by weaving in Scottish history and Shakespeare's Macbeth. It's under 200 pages so it's a fairly quick read. It has a fun castle setting and the mystery was engaging. The next one is from Thrift Books, posted in December 2019 about Demon Tree. I used to read the Twilight series as a kid in the 80s and am now collecting and rereading them as an adult. They're definitely pretty dark for young readers. The first time I read this, I really had no idea what was going on. After I read it the second time as an adult, it all made sense and it morphs into a unique plot after the familiar setup. Maggie comes to a small rural town to live with her grandparents after the death of her parents. She's troubled and terrified at their hateful attitude towards her and discovers the rest of the citizens are hostile towards each other as well. She starts to investigate and learns of a tragedy involving a prominent family which plays into why things are the way they are today and takes it upon herself to make everything right even if it may cost her life. The ending is pretty rushed but other than that, it's a creepy and unique story and Maggie is a likable heroine. Here is a slightly older review posted on Thrift Books in August 1999 about The Twisted Room, calling it surprising, suspenseful, spooky, surreal. Each day, the ghost of a little girl relives the day of her death, knowing that one day, her childhood friend will come back through the hedge and allow her to change the horrible events of the day she died. Meanwhile, decades have gone by and a young girl comes to live next door with her miserly, domineering hermit grandmother. Eager to escape her unhappy situation, the girl follows a ghost cat through the hedge and starts off a bizarre series of ghostly events and time travel. This book is seriously creepy and remarkably clever. It keeps the reader unsure and in suspense until the end of the book. The same writer has written The Ghost in the Swing, which is probably one of the best ghost stories written for younger readers. Now that really makes me wish we had more of those books, but fortunately, I was able to get four more Twilight books from eBay recently, and the plan is to collect them all slowly over time. While Twilight Where Darkness Begins is supposed to be geared toward young adult readers, none of the stories I've read so far feel very tame or watered down. The books are compelling and hard to put down, and the horror factor ramps up steadily. The book covers are fantastic too, featuring almost realistic paintings. I would definitely love to read all of them, although I'm almost certain there's going to be some terms, ideas, and references that have aged poorly. I'm pretty sure the horror would hold up, however. I still remember a number of passages and scenes from some of the books, and they still creep me out to this day. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to talk about a book series that I loved when I was younger and wish I'd read more of. Maybe someday I'll have all 26 books, or who knows, maybe it'll even be re-released. Do you remember Twilight Where Darkness Begins? Have you read any of the books, and which one's your favorite? I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, I hope you can like, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.